All right, guys. So I'm Dr. Hall, and I'm here, and I'm going to do the head, the mouth, and the neck for you in this video. So um, I got my stuff together. I am going to lift the patient up because I am going to be filling her head and looking in her mouth and looking on her neck. I don't want to be squatting over the whole time. So just remember, save your backs. You're all young. So stay young and keep a healthy back. So raise the bed. So we are going to get started. I have washed my hands. And so, okay, I'm gonna start with your head assessment. So I'm looking first. So we always inspect first. So in looking at the shape of your head, it is normocephalic. Um, and I do not see any obvious um, asymmetrical um, pieces. It looks very symmetrical on both sides. When I feel her head, just like Miss Fathery did earlier, I don't feel anything that is abnormal, any of that tender. Mm -mm. Okay, so non-tender. Now I'm moving to your face and I'm just going to look at her face as a whole before I go to the different pieces of her face. So um, again, it's symmetrical and when I feel it with the back of my hand, it is warm to the touch. Her skin is very smooth. It's evenly distributed across her face. Um, can you smile for me? Can you frown? Can you puff out your cheeks? Can you close your eyes real tight? Okay. So when I was getting her to do that, I was checking cranial nerve seven, and I was also looking at the symmetry of her face. So what it did on one side, it did on the other. So all her facial features are nice and symmetric. I'm gonna feel, and I'm feeling along all the bony prominences. Is any of this tender? No. Okay, so there's no tenderness in her bony prominences. I didn't feel anything that felt irregular. Everything was nice and symmetrical. I'm also gonna feel right in here, you have a TMA, TMJ joint right here. Um, so can I get you to open your mouth and close and do it one more time? Okay, and does that hurt? No. Okay, so it opens and closes nice and smooth. I didn't feel any crepitus or popping, and so that was cranial, um, oh, hold on. Now bite, bite down for me, can you clench down? And I feel those masseter muscles right there. That is cranial nerve five. So we have checked all of the features on the face, and now we are going to go down to your mouth. For your mouth, I'm gonna put on some gloves. Anytime we get next to mucous membranes, we do ask that you wear gloves in the nursing profession. So I'm going to just have them on for a second. All right, so I'm going to start on the outside inspecting and then go in. So lips are nice and pink and moist. Um, I don't see any cracking. All oh, that looks really good. I'm going to grab my pen light and a tongue blade. Guys, you may not have a tongue blade at home. If you have a chance to go, probably a lot of you Walmart, somewhere like that. Um, get some practice with tongue blades, you can. Um, it's just in the craft section. If not, when you come to labs, we will have these available for you to use. But just because sometimes it gets really dark in the mouth and the tongue kind of gets in the way, so you kind of have to hold it down um, with the tongue blade so you can see all the features that are in there. So, all right, I'm just gonna look first. So open and say, ah, ah. Okay, so I'm looking at all the different parts of the mouth. So I've got, I'm looking at her cheeks. I'm looking at her buccal mucosa. I'm looking at her hard and soft palate. Can you lift your tongue for me? And I'm looking at the floor of her mouth. Stick your tongue out for me. And I'm looking at her tongue. And all of those areas in her mouth are pink. They're, they're moist. Um, I didn't see any lesions on them. Um, nothing in your mouth has been bothering you? No. Okay. So I'm gonna look at your teeth. So I would actually count and make sure she's got the appropriate number of teeth. So all of her teeth are in line, they're straight, they are clean, she's got good hygiene. Now I'm gonna go back to the oral pharynx and I'm just gonna look first. Do you have, do you have a strong <laughs> gag reflex? Mm -hmm. Okay, I won't. Okay, I'm looking. Okay, so I'm looking and I see, do you have tonsils? Have you ever had your tonsils taken out? I have them. You have them? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you do have your tonsils. So I'm looking at your tonsils and they are about a one plus back there. You can see them. Her oropharynx is nice and pink. I do not smell any odor. And at this point, I would get her to say ah, and I would watch the uvula rise up and down in the back of her mouth. And then I also touch something not sharp. You want it to be blunted to the back of her throat to check for her gag reflex. Okay, so here we it, go. It, it really will gag though, so let's We'll skip that part? Yeah. Okay. So, can you say ah for me? Ah. And uh, uvula rises and falls. Okay. So, and that, those two tests right there for the uvula rising and falling and for the gag reflex is cranial nerve 9 and 10. Can you stick your tongue out straight? Can you stick it in your cheeks? Okay. And that's cranial nerve 12. 
that we are taking all the time. So, um, the other part that we have to do on the mouth, let me take these off since we're done on the inside of the mouth, is we have to do um, around the, the mouth, the ears, and the throat are some um, lymph nodes. So I like to put all those together, so we're gonna just kind of group them all together and just feel them all at one time. So right here, so when you're feeling your lymph nodes, you just kind of use your two fingers and just kind of fill in the area and you're feeling for anything that is um, circular or, um, um, I'm trying to think of another word to use, just inflamed, so, it, it, and you're also asking them to see if it's palpable and asking them if it's tender. So this is your pre-auricular and this is your post-auricular right here behind the ear. Let me see if I can move. So pre-auricular is in front of the ear, Postericular is behind. Occipital is back here at the base of the skull. Okay, any of those tender? No. Okay, so then we're coming down through here. So this is tonsillar, submandibular, submental, and then sublingual, any of those? Okay, so all those lymph nodes right in there were non-palpable and she states that they were non-tender. So moving down to the neck, so I'm gonna continue my lip nodes. So we've got our um, anterior cervical chain and our posterior cervical chain. We've got our supraclavicular. And then if you'll shrug your shoulders for me, I'm gonna to try to get in here and feel for infraclavicular. Any of those tender? No. Okay, I couldn't really feel anything, so that's good. It means her, um, her lip nodes aren't really um, swollen. So that's good. All right, looking at her neck. Her neck is nice and symmetric. Um, her head sits and it sits nice and symmetric on her shoulders. I'm feeling everything as I palpate. It feels nice and symmetric. Her trachea is midline. Okay. Um, I do not feel a thyroid. It's not palpable. When you're feeling pulses on the neck, so you've got two carotids going down either side of your neck, you do not feel them at the same time. Okay, and her pulses are three plus, and they're regular, it's smooth. Um, we've already done the range of motion with Ms. Hargett, but if we had not done that, then this would be a great time when you're on the neck, you're feeling the neck, to make sure that you do that range of motion and make sure that neck is moving as it should. And I think we are done with the head, the mouth, and the neck.